Hi humans, welcome to the Architects Workshop. I'm Lola Ofto. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to edit this grid head. This very, very inflexible grid head. This thing that has no joy on the floor plan because it would not move and it would not bend to anybody's will or instruction. Well, I'm here to tell you happily today, today, today. You are going to make it bend to the power of your mouse and to your desire in whatever shape or height that you want it to. Yes. So you know, you know how when you create like um, maybe construction plans or construction details or something, you're working on those documents and then um, in AutoCAD is easy because like you do it manually. And I won't lie, I won't lie for a very long time. Whenever I worked on construction documents, I used to do it manually in Revit. But oh um, more, we can't, we can't, you know, we can't be in the Sofahead Olympics forever. We don't want to win in that level. So here I am bringing on a platter of gold, serving you guys as hot as this dish is right now. The solution to editing the grid head, this bubble head, this big head. We're going to reduce it today on Revit. And if that's something you're interested in, please be sure to stick around to the end of the video. Leave a comment, like, share. I have to be campaigning for myself because I want to show you something nice. But anyhow, let's just get into it right now. If you click on this first bubble head, you see that it's named 6.5 millimeter bubble. If you click the drop down, if you click the drop down, you see that there are other types there. So we're just going to like create our own type. So what the first thing we do is we click on this one, go to our properties panel or properties tab, whatever it is, properties panel <laughs> by the side, and then we click edit type. So a pop-up comes up and then we see duplicate here. So you just click on duplicate and you just name it something like maybe type three or you could name it according to the dimension or something. I'm just going to name it type three. And I'm going to click OK and I'm going to click OK. So when you click on this bubble or grid head, you see that this one is type 3. And if you click on this one, you see that this one is still a 6.5 millimeter bubble. And if you click the drop down, you see that it's now part of the available type. So I'm just going to click on this type 3 here. And I'm going to come down to the project browser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down, 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 down to where we see families right under sheets. Right? So when you click on families, you see that the first thing there you should see i don't know if it should be the first on yours but like just look for annotation symbols so once you click on that there's it like the plus sign there you just click on it so another drop down comes don't be intimidated just go down 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 and look for this one m grid head circle so when you click on that you see another one that's like M grid head dash circle. So we want to open the top, the pop-up bar. So you can do it in one of two ways. You can either just double click and it comes up or you could right click, sorry, right click and type properties. So either way works. So the pop-up is here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the grid head circle so we're going to name another one so we can either leave it as grid head circle 2 or we can say type 2 circle you can rename it i don't know professionally or you know anyhow like the rest of us so you see that the type has changed and we still have the format type here so i'm just going to change it to um maybe three or four let's see if we apply four right so yeah let's let me make it three i'll say okay right so you won't see the difference yet but what you can do is when you click on this one if you click on the edit tab edit type in the properties panel when you come down here we can now choose uh that's under symbol we can now choose a uh, type two circle right and you click apply so you see that our bubble head reduces here but you still have the formal one just in case you're not like feeling it along the way so you can still switch between the two so just click on our type 2 circle apply okay so now there's a problem right 
the text is bigger than the entire circle so there's a way to edit that so back where we found the grid head circle in the project browser we're just going to go back there right and the main drop down the m grid head circle you're just going to click on it right click on it right click sorry my mouse is doing younger right click and then you're going to go up to edit click on edit and you see our text right here filling up the entire space so same thing we go to our properties panel you click on edit type right we duplicate again so that we don't mess with the first one so i think i'm going to make the text about 2.5 so i could name this one 2.5 mm right and just be like okay okay oh sorry name it 2.5 mm i forgot to <laughs> change the text size so 2.5 here and the text size area and then i'm going to say okay all right so I'm just going to drag this so that everything is in. And then I'm going to come up here and click load into projects. Override the existing version and we see the beauty. So guys, that's basically how to change it. Like it's not perfect. It's not a perfect method yet, but like it's way easier than drawing lines and circles and putting in numbers and whatnot so congratulations on leaving the sofa head olympics for the rest of them in the autocad world <laughs> all right i really enjoyed making this video i hope you enjoyed watching it um i'm trying to be more consistent with posting videos like i really miss making videos and posting for you guys like it's so much fun but you know how life gets now so i hope from now on i can post more i'll try my best so please try your best to watch them all thank you and goodbye until we meet again humans signing out is lola after hello